Hey, kindergarten, how are you today? Say, I've got a couple of books here for you. Uh, my first book is by Mo Williams. If you ever get a chance to check out a Mo Williams book, do. They are so fun. I love him. He has um, the Knuffle Bunny. Have you ever read that one? Um, he also has the Pigeon books, like Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Great author. I also have a book here by Candace Whitman called Lines That Wiggle. And we'll actually start out with this one. Actually, yeah, let's start with this one. Lines That Wiggle. It's a silly book. <laughs> I like silly books. Lines That Wiggle, Lines That Bend. Look at this line. What do you think is causing this line to bend down? Could it be the heavy elephant? Mm -hmm. Wavy lines from end to end. Look at how the lines look like they are the... Where would they be with an octopus underneath? Lines that tickle. <laughs> Sprout. Looks like an onion. I'm not sure. Bugs that have lines that stick right out. Ugh. Lines that trap. Uh -oh. I think he's going to be somebody's lunch. Two lines running side by side. Oh, sorry. Lines to hide. Two lines running side by side. <clears throat> lines that curve. Lines that curl. Underwater lines that swirl. I bet they're in the ocean, too. Lines that crisscross, lines that mend. Aww, isn't that sweet? Lines with doggies at the end. Have you ever seen a pink dog before? Or a red cat? Lines that scurry. That makes me feel all itchy all over. Lines that threat. Oh, lines and threes. Lines and leaves that grow on trees. Lines that twist, lines that sway. Lines that swish the flies away. Lines that light up the sky. What is that called? Hmm. Rainbow lines are way up high. Lines are everywhere you look. Some find lines not in this book. Hmm. So if you were to look around the space that you're in, would you be able to find lines? I spy lines behind me. Look at the shelf. It's a line up and down, and there's a line side to side. Do you see that? Uh, the books are lines. Do you have lines? Oh, I have a line on my shirt. This way, this way. I have a curly line right here. Where are the lines in your space? So I also have a book here. Remember my favorite, one of my favorite authors, Mo Williams. My friend is sad. I hope he doesn't stay sad. Oh. My friend is sad. I will make him happy. Yeehaw! Huh? A cowboy. <laughs> oh, Gerald loves cowboys, but why is he still sad? Huh? 
Hả? A clown! That makes him happy. Oh, Clowns are funny, but he is still sad. Oh, A robot! How can anyone be so sad around a robot? Oh. Gerald! Piggy! I am sorry I wanted to make you happy, but you are still sad. I am not sad now. I am happy. You are happy? I am happy because you are here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, isn't that sweet? But I was so very sad, Piggy. So very sad. I saw a cowboy. But you love cowboys. I do. I love cowboys. But you were not there to see him. Well, in fact, I, there was more. There was a clown, a funny, funny clown. He's crying. But you were not here to see him. But... There was more! <laughs> I think he threw him over with his voice. I saw a robot! A cool, cool robot! And my best friend was not there to see him with me. <laughs> I think he's, oh, the despair! He's like, are you serious? But, but I'm, you see, I am here now. You are, you are here now. My friend is here now. Aw, isn't that sweet? Aww. Super cute. I need my friends. You need glasses. <laughs> Why would he think he'd need new glasses? Probably because if you look back, it was Piggy all the time disguising himself. And Gerald didn't even notice that goofball. <laughs> well, I'm glad they were both happy in the end, aren't you? So, there are plenty more Mo William books out there. Please go get yourself one and enjoy it thoroughly. We'll see you next time.